Cast Highlight is an application diagnostic solution running in SAS. This short demonstration is designed to present some key insights to support your IT portfolio baselining. The Cast Highlight homepage provides a high-level view on the health of your portfolio of applications. In this example, the portfolio is composed of 170 applications that have been analyzed through assessment campaigns. The health factors, as well as the Cloud Ready Index, represent scores in a range from 1 to 100. The higher the score, the better it is. Quick portfolio insights are made available to identify the most business critical applications, the applications that require the largest maintenance teams, the most complex applications, and the best candidates to embrace cloud. Let's walk through some examples of insights that support fact-based portfolio baselining. Prior to checking the application's health, you may want to view an inventory and understand what underlying technologies are used. Click on Total Lines of Code to zoom in on the technologies used within the application portfolio. These demographics provide an objective analysis of the most popular programming languages across the entire portfolio. More than an inventory, this analysis also consolidates the health scores by technology. In just a few clicks, you can identify the technologies with the lowest resiliency and how many applications they support. These fact-based insights can support decisions such as investing in the right training for your development teams, outsourcing some or all of the maintenance work, or even envisioning some changes regarding the use of enterprise standards. Let's transition to another dashboard which offers new perspectives that compares health and the business impact of applications. The Business Impact Dashboard plots the applications by using the Y-axis to position the business impact and the X-axis to represent the health factors, which by default is set on software resiliency. From here, we can first, baseline the portfolio to get an objective diagnostic, and second, segment the application's population to trigger comprehensive actions. Let's start the segmentation exercise with the applications that are identified as critical and have great health. We should carry on investment to make sure that we keep this level of quality. The top left quadrant targets applications that are critical for the business but have low software resiliency scores, increasing risk exposure. These applications could be identified for reprioritization to avoid downtime, which could affect customer experience. The bottom of the quadrant shows applications that are less business critical. This population is generally an interesting segment to envision either to replace, merge, or even retire applications. Using this approach, we can optimize the health of the portfolio while securing the value provided to the business. Let's focus on the business critical apps. Using the buttons located at the top, we can lock our segment and leverage additional dimensions such as agility and elegance on the x-axis. In order to carry on the analysis and narrow down a shortlist, we can activate the cost dimension by using the number of FTEs to condition the size of the bubbles. Moving the analysis to a deeper level consists of switching on the Pareto button to display the 20% of applications that consume 80% of the resources. We ultimately end up with applications that are business critical, require large maintenance teams so they cost a lot, and are exposed to short, mid, or long-term risks. Cast Highlight provides insights at both portfolio and application levels. Once we've set the priorities for each segment according to their context and strategy, we can drill down to the individual application to assess the opportunity to improve. Here's the application ID card of TensorFlow. The overview screen consolidates high-level information, including the trending for each of the health factors and the cloud-ready index for a given application. The risk distribution is identifying the technologies used in this application, as well as where the risk lies. By enabling an objective comparison with industry peers, the benchmark helps to confirm these findings. We even narrow down the population of applications by filtering by technology. The Code Insights tab inventories the top frequent alerts that compute the health factor scores. From this screen, we can pick a given programming language using the drop-down list, and also concentrate on a specific health factor. Each of the improvement opportunities are documented. Simply by clicking on the question mark, it takes us to a knowledge base that defines and describes why we should care and what the potential recommendations for this insight might be. All of these improvement opportunities can be turned into actionable outcomes through the Excel export.
Assessing the application health should not be limited to the code that we write and control. It should also extend to the frameworks and libraries. Cast Highlight discovers frameworks, their version, and provides a mapping with common vulnerabilities and exposures, also called CVEs. These tiles display the number of vulnerabilities found by severity. In this case, we have one vulnerability with high severity, which is associated to Protobuf. For each CVE, we can reach the reference or its CVE ID card simply by clicking on its number. Whether in support of an IT diligence, a rapid IT health check, or to assist a new CIO onboarding, baselining the portfolio is also a great opportunity to assess the cloud readiness of your applications. The Cloud Ready Index is computed using a combination of a survey and a code scan. While the Cloud Ready survey is focusing on the business context of an application, the Cloud Ready code scan identifies characteristics that can make cloud migration seamless or painful. Blockers represent obstacles that might complicate or slow down past migration. Roadblocks are the number of occurrences discovered within the application files. Boosters represent characteristics that will ease and accelerate past migration. To learn more about each code pattern, simply click on the question mark button to reach the full definition and description. It's important to note that these insights related to the cloud readiness of an application are also consolidated at the portfolio level. Through the Cloud Ready dashboard, we can quickly leverage a cross analysis between either business impact and cloud readiness or health factors in cloud readiness. We can also activate a third dimension using the bubble size as the number of roadblocks or the number of FTEs. Because an IT portfolio baselining exercise is meant to provide recommendations, it may be interesting to execute a multi-criteria query to build a specific segment from the application results dashboard. For instance, reprioritize some applications with the largest maintenance team and the greatest business impact. We can use this reduced segment as a shorter list to trigger recommendations using the PowerPoint output. For more information, visit casthighlight.com.